Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Master A here, showing you how to get all Sega sources for the iPhone and iPad Touch. Now, for this, you do need a jailbroken and iPhone and iPad Touch, of course. That's a no-brainer. Um, if you don't have a jailbroken and iPhone and iPad Touch, look at my video called "How to Jailbreak Your iPhone and iPad Touch." It's very simple. It only takes about five minutes to jailbreak. But yeah, um, all Sega sources. With this, you're gonna be able to get a whole bunch of more applications on Sega. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Head down to all the way in the bottom where it says manage, click on manage, and you'll see this. Click on sources, edit on the top right, and then add. Now add, I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have this in the description, so if you if you can see it, don't worry about it, but it's apt a p t dot stef with two F's Wiz, wiz dot com. So just click the click the dot com button, and you should type this in apt dot dot com. Very simple. When you type that in, click on add source. And it's gonna validate the source or whatever. Just give it time. And once again, what this does is basically gives you a whole bunch of other applications that would normally not be on Cydia. So yeah, you get you get a tons of more applications. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I get this problem, but I always get this a long way. It has nothing to do with the uh, source I just told you about. Return to Cydia. Go once you once you're done installing, go to sections, and scroll down to repositories. Right here, repositories, right under productivity, and you should see all sources. So. Install this package to get all the all the trusted. Let's see, so yeah, let me go back. All sources should be right there in plain sight, unless you're blind, you're gonna see that. Uh, so if you want, you can read the whole little, you know, the little notice. Um, via Vizes might make Cydia uh, a bit slower, mainly because you're gonna have a whole bunch of applications. And see, it's gonna take a, a you know about a minute. Well, you, it is always slow, but this might make it even slower because now it has a whole bunch of things to download. So if you want to start, it just you guys should know this already. Install and confirm. So once again, if you do not have a jailbroken iPhone up a touch, look at my video called "How to Jailbreak." And if you're wondering what the hell that is. Uh, look at my video called "Why You Should Jailbreak It." I mean, if you have an iPhone iPod Touch and it's not jailbroken, you just have a break that plays audio and a break that plays, or well, actually a break that makes phone calls. But if you're jailbroken iPhone iPod Touch, you have a Jesus phone. So yeah, it's running right now. It's downloading. Let it do its thing. And only release, then only release. Uh, these errors that come up are my iPhone. It's not. It has nothing to do with the app I just showed you. Uh, this is something my iPhone just. I don't know. It's retarded. Then only release running. Yeah. So if you get an error, just click OK. It doesn't really do anything. It's BSing. Your your phone is BSing you. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it's taking a while, and the reason for this is because, like I said before, you're gonna have everything, and when I say everything, I mean everything. So it's running. So as long as you see the little, hang on, let me just. As long as you see the little spinning wheel of death or or hell, uh, your iPhone is good. As long as that little thing's moving, you're good. So yeah, you're gonna have some errors, but just click OK, and it's done. When it says reloading data, then I'm guessing it's done. The spinning wheel of death is still there. Reloading data, and it's done. Complete. Return to city. So now, if you go back to your sections, uh, well, if you go back to sections. You should have a whole bunch of new things, and I, I mean it, guys. Just look at this. Damn, you have like over, 
over a hundred, maybe even two hundred different different sections. So now you have a whole bunch of programs available to download right off Cydia. Hope this helped. Once again, if it was Timus Eight, make sure to subscribe, comment, rate Timus Eight out. Hey, before I leave, I just wanna show you guys how slow or fast this thing is gonna make Cydia go. Um, so yeah, like the speed will vary depending on your internet connection, but I'm pretty sure this this thing is gonna make it slower. And holy shit, imagine it just opened up. Hang on, this can't be right because Cydia just opened up like super fast and usually super slow. But anyway, um, like I said before, this thing is gonna make Cydia slower, but it's worth it because I mean, look at this. You have a whole mess of new applications available to download. And yeah, and like I said before, if you want to know how to jailbreak, just look at my video called How to Jailbreak. And if you were wondering what the hell is jailbreaking, we'll have a video for that too called Why You Should Jailbreak It. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing to open up with a real speed. There we go, loading data. Probably this uh Nope, it opened up quick. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so now. Congratulations, you have every single source, every single repository available in Cydia. Uh, you can thank me by subscribing. This will take my 8. Make sure to subscribe, comment, rate, take my 8. Out.